just going into tax season where we hope to see some more customers and then 30% of my inventory is in a scrap pile. Carnage mm. at a lakeside car dealership after a BMW goes flying through an intersection and into the lot this morning. As you just saw, that accident was caught on surveillance video as well. Half a dozen cars were destroyed. Our ABC tennis reporter John Horn is live in Lakeside, where amazingly the driver is expected to survive this accident. John. The CHP officers tell us this man suffered a medical issue, hit the gas, hit the curb and flew into the cars. You can see this Honda Civic behind me. That's just one of them. Let me take you over here. There's this GMC Yukon. Back there, there's another pickup truck. Here's another sad sight, a 2007 Corvette ripped to shreds. The owner of the lot tells me he's reeling. You know, the only stuff that's getting traded in, nobody wants anymore. Dan Schaffner says it's hard to find a good car these days amid a global shortage. Inventory prices are crazy. There's no cars available. But he still had a decent selection on his lakeside lot called Revit Motors, including a couple of Corvettes, a Toyota Tundra, and a Chevy Silverado. Then, about 6.30 a.m. on Wednesday, this happened. It looked like one of those NASCAR crashes at Daytona where there's 20 cars laid out in pieces all the way down the front straightaway. That's what my lot looked like this morning. CHP officers say a 20-year-old driver of a white BMW suffered a medical issue, slamming onto the gas, hitting a curb, and flying into Schaffner's lot. He totaled six cars, including the two Corvettes, leaving Schaffner out an estimated $152,000. One other car might be repairable, while three went unscathed. The collision also knocked out power to area businesses. I found a BMW logo in the back of my truck. To make matters worse, it's still unclear if the driver had insurance. Schaffner bracing to deal with his own company. I know what they're going to do. They're going to try and pay for it at what I bought it for. So all of the labor and time and effort moving it around and all of that stuff, I'll be out. And I can't easily replace them because there's no cars. So it's going to be a tough tax time. And in a moment of irony, the Carfax report for the Corvette remains on the passenger seat covered in glass. Meanwhile, the lot still has about 20 cars intact, ready to be sold. CHP tells us that the driver was not arrested, was not suspected of being under the influence. Live in Lakeside, John Horn, ABC 10 News. What a story. All right, John, thank you.